Hello guys, this is Adam and welcome to the lab. So what we will have today, we will test is the Unreal Engine 5. And I know you guys love the testing for Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> if numbers can tell me anything, it can tell me that you guys love Unreal Engine 5. With that in mind, I do have the sci-fi project open. Specs for the machine that we are looking at, we're looking at 64 gigabyte of RAM, 8 uh, terabyte SSD NVMe storage, a plus 32 core CPU, uh, sorry, 32 core GPU, and then 10 core CPU. So this is the M1 Max 16 inch fully specced out, and we are running the Unreal Engine five right now and by the way if you are opening unreal engine 5 and it tells you that hey you need to open xcode and do a licensing or whatever that might be there is a solution for that issue and i will have a link for that solution under the subscribe button which you should hit we're gonna do play and then let's see so right now we're getting solid 60 frames and we can maneuver like no issue. I just did open that, nothing is built just yet and this is just opening the project and going straight into it. And holy bananas, this is a smooth and we're getting a solid 60 frames per second. And what I actually wanna do, I want to lock the display so let's lock it at 48 hertz and i wonder if it would that change anything because what i am afraid of is we are getting 60 because it was locked at 60 but no even after locking it to 48 it's still the same so i will just get it back to promotion overall this is this is smooth okay so I guess if you are using Unreal Engine and you want to simply maneuver through a project that is good as that, you will be good to go. And I think with the brightness, we are getting to the HDR, XDR level just because of the lighting. And then we would close that. This is the project for the MetaHuman, as you can see, and we are getting 60 frames. In order to compile everything, I think it took around 20 to 30 seconds maximum. I didn't actually count it, but I just... Um, waited for the shaders to compile. I am sure it did not take more than 30 seconds, which is insane. Like, uh, that is amazing. When you get to a point where something compile and then builds without you even having to worry about it or even count how many minutes it would take and it's not even taking one minute, that's mean it's amazing. So this is Unreal Engine 5, and let's go ahead and play the project. So right now we are getting a solid 60 frames per second. The next generation of digital human powered by Unreal Engine. Metahumans are high fidelity digital characters created by you, the user, on our new content creation platform, Metahuman Creator. I am fully rigged, ready for animation and motion capture, allowing me to work in context. With everything running live in Unreal Engine, my motion works seamlessly on other characters. I have eight levels of detail. And if you Holy bananas, I cannot get enough of how this is amazing. If you're interested in learning about my animation rig or high fidelity deformation, built on control rules. This feels too real. <laughs> or how everything is tied together and animated in sequencer. Then have a look under the hood in this project. This is just a glimpse of things to come. Creepy. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so this is the MetaHuman project. There is not a lot to think. Oh, wow. And then when you want to move inside the project in case you want to maneuver or anything like that, holy bananas, it's so smooth. So With the M1 Pro, I wasn't able like to go as smooth as this. Like when I was moving or maneuvering inside the project, I think it was giving me like 20 frames or something. So right now, the GPU extra power, it's definitely showing it's, um, you know, power, um, how powerful it is. And the machine is still cold and the fans are not even turned on. This is unheard of. Holy freaking bananas. So yeah, so this is MetaHuman for you um, uh, with the Unreal Engine 5 and that is the second project. Let's go into the third project, which is the car that usually has ray tracing. So this is the project right here and we will open ray tracing with it and then we will go ahead and click create. 
and here is the project opening and then we will open the FPS right now we're getting 40 FPS but we are waiting for everything to shader and then go through but nevertheless this is insane we're getting a solid 40 frames and right now I am playing it without even waiting for the shaders to compile so after the shaders would compile we will see and right now we are getting a solid 60 frames per second and it's beautiful holy bananas and this is us moving around that is cool so now it's completely rendered and uh, actually it did render but i was away for a second because i was ordering the new mac studio so keep an eye for that anyhow so this is it this is the project with ray tracing enabled and holy bananas we're getting 60 frames per second beautiful and this car looks really insane maybe elon musk if elon musk made a tesla like that i will sell my kidney to get it <laughs> let's see how did it does play it's still 60 frames solid which is great and basically that's what you want with every project that you are working on because usually when you're working on a project it's like 60 frames so having a 60 frame solid which i believe probably what is what the project is capped to that is great and just to be aware what we are testing is the 500 early access number two so this is the third person project and holy cow encoding the project was really quick like literally i just opened it and while i was open it, everything was built so what we will do we will go ahead and play that and we will see first how many frames we are getting and sorry for the noise outside i really cannot do anything about it i wish i can but every time i try to record people remember that they have a life which i hate but whatever anyhow holy bit oh wow this is smooth this is so smooth this is way smoother than the m1 and the m1 pro as well we are getting a solid 60 frames per second everything working as it should and it's working with no issues keep in mind ray tracing is not enabled on this one so i will enable ray tracing with the same project and then we will see if we can just do whatever we want to do but first parkour 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 <laughs> So this time it's the third person project. The quality is still maximum and then ray tracing, we will enable it this time. And you can see how quickly the project is opening, which that should give you an idea how quickly a project should open. And as usual, that seems to be a theme where the shading of a project would go by really quickly. So we will go ahead and click show FPS and then we will go ahead and play this wonderful game parkour! Parkour! And we're still getting 60 frames! 60 frames! Everything is 60 frames! 60 frames! Ah! <laughs> oh boy, look at his butt. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so yeah, um, we are still getting 60 frames solid even with the um, ray tracing um, enabled for this project. So it seems that ray tracing is not giving us an issue and we don't have a dip in frames. And simply what we are getting is 60 frames across all the three projects that I have tested so far. And just to stress um, the machine, what I did on the side, if you pay attention, I did open four Unreal Engines just to see if um, the 60 frames is either being capped by the CPU, like the CPU and the GPU, like for example, the maximum that they can do is 60 frames or the project is simply set to 60 frames so it seems like the project is set to 60 frames because even even after opening uh, multiple projects this is still working um, at the same the machine got a tiny bit warm so I can feel the machine is a little bit warm but it's only on this side here it's cold here it's cold here nothing if you are working with unreal engine i can surely say that get the m1 max and you will be happy working with unreal engine you and create video games and please if you create a video game about anime just let me know so i can be a voice actor for one of your characters if you made a game about anime if you made a game about anything else don't even contact me but if you made a game about anime 
please contact me in order for me to be a voice actor in, in one of your games aside from that i definitely recommend the m1 max with 64 gigabyte of ram and 32 core uh, gpu and 10 core cpu for unreal engine 5 it's working without issues and keep in mind this is an early access so even with the beta and all of that it's still running like a dream um definitely with more optimizations we will get a better performance but honestly it cannot get better than this this is delacrame amazing